subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shalazadi and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room in today's video i'm going to be teaching you an amazing card trick a really simple card trick in which you're going to take a photo of a playing card and in the photo you're going to change the playing card now this is a very simple card trick very easy to do so that's why it's also for beginners so without any further ado let's start our today's video <laughs> This week's Instagram feature goes to Julian Gosduff. Follow him on Instagram. Link will be given in the video description. I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay guys, here's the performance of this card trick. And as you can see over here, I have this deck of cards completely mixed up, right? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take these cards and shuffle them in front of you so that you don't suspect me of arranging these cards in any kind of order or something like that so I'm just gonna keep on shuffling just like that and I'm gonna give one more shuffle now after that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a look at the top card because that is going to be my prediction now in this case the top card is the 10 of diamonds right so you have seen other magicians what they does is they actually keep a prediction and reveal it at the last at the end of the card trick but right now i'm going to show you the prediction at first this is my prediction the 10 of diamonds and to keep a proof of it i want you to take a picture of it so i want you to take out your phone and open up the phone camera now in this case i'm going to use my phone okay and i'm going to open up the camera and i'm going to show you that there are no photos of any cards that are taken previously okay there are some documents that I took yesterday but no photos of any cards okay so at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a photo of this card the ten of diamonds and I'm gonna keep it a proof as that is my prediction so I'm just going to take a photo of that card okay now I took a photo of this card the ten of diamonds and I predicted that predicted that card so I kept the photo right over here so that at the end I can confirm your selection now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that card and put it somewhere in the center meanwhile I'm just going to lock my screen because I'm gonna need this in the end not right now so I'm just going to push that card inside the deck of cards and then I'm just going to shuffle these cards in front of you just like that so that that card the ten of diamonds get mixed inside this deck of cards okay now after this amount of shuffles I'm sure the ten of that diamonds is somewhere inside the deck of cards right and at this point as i refill down the side of the deck you're going to call out stop at any point you want okay so let's say you call out stop at this point okay now i'm just going to take all the cards from that point and this is your selection now as i said that your selection would be the 10 of diamonds i predicted that card so let's see okay now it didn't match okay so uh, the thing is I got the king of hearts instead of the ten of diamonds you got the king of hearts instead of the ten of diamonds so um, I think I made something wrong but I predicted the ten of diamonds in the beginning so I need to uh, I need to correct my card trick right so what I need to do is I'm gonna wave my hand over the phone and snap my finger and change my prediction from the ten of diamonds to the king of hearts if you don't believe it you can check your phone right now so if you see over here you will see I've taken a photo of the card and the card is none other than the king of hearts right so over here you can see I don't know why I just spin this card but over here you can see that I took a photo of this card the king of Ka king of hearts and that is the only photo that I took of any playing card right now because you can see the other photos are still those photos that were previously taken no other photos were taken so that's what the card trick looks like let's see how you can do this card trick okay guys this is how this trick is done now obviously for this trick you don't need any kind of setup you can borrow this deck of cards and you can borrow this spectators phone now in the performance I didn't have a spectator so I couldn't perform it the exact way I wanted to perform 
So in this trick, I'm gonna show you how you would exactly perform this trick. So at the beginning, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take its deck and uh, you're gonna shuffle it up and your spectator can also shuffle this deck in their hands and then you're gonna turn over the top two cards as one. You're gonna do a double lift. So for the spectator, the top card is the 10 of diamonds but you know that the top card is something else. So uh, at this point, the spectator will always think of the card and there is a reason why you're going to keep this card face up till the spectator uh, opens up their phone camera because subconsciously the spectator is going to see this card and the longer they see this card, the longer they will actually remember the name of this card, the face of this card that will, and they're going to think that this is the face of the card that is going to be captured in their phone camera. So all you're going to do at this point after they open up their phone camera, all you're going to do at this point is you're going to ask them to hold these cards facing you. And as you do that, all you're doing is you're keeping the second card that is the card that you have showed to the spectator and you're actually giving them the top card and they're seeing the back side of it. So this side is totally different and you're actually going to take a photo of this side and the spectators are going to think that you have taken a photo of this card. So at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to ask them to ask the spectators to hold the card just like this facing you. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're also going to uh, make sure that no light is passing from this direction. If this is the face of the card, no light is passing from this direction because they might see the printing on the card from the back side. Okay. And for that reason, also make sure that their phone camera flash is also turned off. Okay. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to hold their card. You're going to ask them to hold their card just like that. And as they hold their card, take a photo of that card along with the spectator. Okay. And now as you take a photo of that card, you know that you're taking the photo of a different card, but they think that you're actually taking the photo of this 10 of diamonds because they have seen it for a longer time and they don't really have an idea that the king of diamonds actually exists in that scene. So at this point, after taking the photo, you just lock the phone immediately so that they don't see the photo right away. Now you obviously take the card back from them and you actually tell them that you're taking that 10 of diamonds and putting it somewhere inside the center of the deck. But while you're actually keeping their predicted card inside somewhere in the center of the deck while the 10 of diamonds is still on the top of the deck. Okay. Now you're going to just push that card inside. And then what you're going to do is you can do any kind of card controls, any kind of shuffle controls and bring that card to the top of the deck. Okay. So this is the main thing. You have to bring that card to the top of the deck in order to proceed to the next steps. So at this point, you're going to give some more false shuffles, some more overhand false shuffles, retending the top card uh, so that the spectator thinks that their card, the 10 of diamonds is getting mixed somewhere inside. Actually 10 of diamonds is not their card, but they're still going to think of the 10 of diamonds because you have kept the 10 of diamonds face up in your hand for a longer amount of time and they have been seeing it until they have opened up their phone camera. So at this point, the spectator thinks that in the phone camera, you have captured the image of the 10 of diamonds along with them but you have captured the image of the king of diamonds, right? So at this point, all you need to do is you need to force these cards to the spectator. And for me, the best way of force is the refill force. I do it because it is quite easy and quite simple to do. You can do any force you want. So at this point, I'm going to just do the refill force. So whatever the spectator does, whatever he calls out stop at, and uh, I'm just going to take the cards from that point and I'm going to show him that he has selected the king of diamonds because I'm going to force him the king of diamonds. Okay. Now, obviously you're not going to show him that this is the king of diamonds like that. You're just going to take that card and say that, so, you know, I predicted the 10 of diamonds and I feel like this card should be the 10 of diamonds. Okay. So let's turn it over and see it. And as you do that, you're going to just turn it over in a magical gesture or maybe a little bit slowly, just like that, just to show that you're actually doing some type of magic. But at this point, you're going to just pretend that you messed up with this card trick and the king of diamonds came out instead of the 10 of diamonds. So all you need to do is you need to correct this card trick or you need to correct the prediction. So at this point, you're just going to pretend to wave your hand over the phone and snap your hand and ask them to open up their phone and then look at the playing card photo that you have taken. So they're going to see 
the playing card photo that you have taken is none other than the king of diamonds of course the photo will not look like this this photo will look like uh, the spectator is holding the card the, holding the king of diamonds but i don't have a spectator right now over here so at this point i think it's all right for me uh, for you guys to see uh, this way the, uh, the card trick this way i hope you understand this so that's how the card trick is done and that's it for the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so and don't forget to follow me on instagram as well as Ari. also if you have any questions you can use the comment section for that and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is a pretty savage channel i post entertaining videos and gameplays over there and the link to that channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that monday episodes peace